40 family portrait includes several predetermined layouts. These layouts are the building blocks for your family chart. You can create your own layout in the theme wizard. Use a simpler layout for larger families to make a simple chart or include frames and flourishes for a, a more intricate family chart. The descendants of David Taylor, you can see we've actually used different frames for the male and for the female. The same family, what you can see is there are different frames, but also different colors in the stitching. We've also been able to use the printer fabric that you can use with your sewing machine to sew on an applique of photos of the family. And then of course you can use the beautiful portrait stitch that is included in the 4D family portrait for the pictures within the family tree and family chart. Notice that these are the same frames with just a different color. Also, there's a background image that can reflect your family history. There are also other ways to make your layout theme. This one happens to be in a fan, again, with different types of frames as well as your connection points. Let's go ahead and work on and see how we actually make that sort of layout. I'm going to start in the theme wizard. And with the theme wizard, simply click here. What you'll find is here are the system themes. There are 12 system themes that are included. And then there are my themes where you can create your own. Let's click next and see there are different chart types. You can see on the right hand side that there are descendants, ancestors, hourglass, or a complete family. With the complete family, this is where you might want to choose and use appliques or put them in a quilt. I'm going to go back to the descendants. You can see the number of generations as well as the different types of fans and vertical and horizontal layouts. For the Kowalski family, we use the horizontal layout with the descendants. Click Next, and we now can choose the fonts for the different names of the people in our family chart. You have many different fonts to choose from. There are 12 that are included with your 4D family portrait. If you have other 4D modules, you can choose some between those fonts as well. I'm going to use the camera to go ahead and see what my fonts look like before I actually choose them. Using the up down arrow keys on my keyboard, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and I'm actually going to choose the Nimbus font and it says that in the bottom left corner of your font view. So with the Nimbus font chosen, you can use an underline flourish and there are three different styles or three different categories to choose from. With the underline flourish for a very large family, that can cause a little bit of clutter. So let's go ahead and leave that out. Let's click next and continue creating our theme or our layout. For different facts that are actually going to be shown, you can choose your font style as well. And what this actually means is if you want to put in your birth date, your death date, the marriage dates, today we're going to choose none. Again, large families, it's a little bit trickier to have all of that information. Let's click Next. And if you have pictures for each individual that were created in the portrait stitch, you can choose this at that time. You can also put a frame around individuals. Smaller family trees, this looks lovely. The connection type can be chosen between satin, running, or no connection. Today we want to choose the connection between a marriage of two people as well as the connection between the families. And last but not least, we want to put the top at the top a title of our family. In this case, it's going to be the descendants of Beryl Kowalski. I'm going to choose the Corinthian font, click Next, 
And here's where you can choose your background if you wish. So I'm going to enter the theme name to be Kowalski and click finish. And now I have that theme already made so I can make the beautiful family chart that you saw when we first started this video.